1868, Japan. The country is torn apart by the Boshin War, a civil war opposing the newly restored imperial government and the forces of the Tokugawa shogunate. On January 27th, the Battle of Toba Fushimi ended in a decisive defeat for the shogunate after four days of battle. On the wake of this defeat, the Aizu Domain, who swore fidelity to the Tokugawa shogunate, decided to finalize its military modernization. Four military samurai units were thus formed. The Genmutai, Black Tortoise Unit, the Seiryutai, Azure Dragon Unit, the Suzakutai, Vermilion Bird Unit, and the Byakutai, White Tiger Unit. All four units named after the Japanese protecting gods of the compass directions. Composed of 305 young men aged from 16 to 17 years old, the Byakutai was a reserve unit divided in six squads. Two squads from the upper rank, the Shichu, two from the middle rank, the Yoriai, and two from the lowest rank, the Ashigaru. Those young samurai received their instruction at the prestigious and renowned Nishinkan Samurai School, located in Aizu Wakamatsu, where they followed a strict and intensive training for several years based on Confucianism and martial arts training. In October 1868, the Suruga Castle was under siege by pro-imperial forces. Northern domains had already laid down their weapons, but the Aizu domain continued the rebelling. In the heat of the Battle of Tonogujihara, as the Aizu samurai were desperately fighting the imperial loyalists, 20 members of the Shichu unit were cut off from the rest of the squad. Thus, they retreated to the close Imori Hill, one and a half kilometers away from the Suruga Castle. From there, they had a vantage view of the town and saw the city burning in flames, covered in smoke. They immediately assumed that the castle had fallen and their lord and families were dead. As a final act of defiance and demonstration of samurai valor, they committed seppuku, the famous ritual suicide consisting of cutting open one's own belly. Unfortunately, they had been mistaken and the castle had not fallen. The smoke and flames were rising from nearby buildings, misleading the group of the actual fate of their lord's castle. After the war, the bodies of the younglings remained exposed to the elements until permission was finally granted by the imperial government to bury them. Of those 20 teenagers, only one survived, Inuma Sarakichi. Deeply wounded, he was saved by a local peasant who was passing by. He's the one who told the world about the terrible fate of those young samurais and their tragic end. After the war, he moved to the nearby city of Sendai, where he served as an officer in the Imperial Army and where he ended his days. After his death, his ashes were spread on the buried graves of his comrades, erected on Imori Hill. At this memorial site, a poem by Matsudaira Katamori has been carved in stone with the words, Ikutari no namida waishi ni sosogu tomosono na wayoyo ni kuchiji tozoomu. No matter how many people wash the stones with their tears, these names will never vanish from the world. Today, the story of those young men has become legendary in Japan. It has been adapted into books, TV series, and movies. The Byakutai story is a strong and vibrant testimony of the samurai virtue that forms a part of the Japanese identity.